Hey there, I'm going to show you how to use this full color twill patch on this structured ball cap so you can give your customers the embroidered look simply by using the heat press. Let's get started. Hey guys, Kelly Walters here, and before we get started, I need to make sure my 360 IQ hat press is set correctly for the correct recipe that we need when it comes to heat decorating. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into our settings, select my twill, and it's automatically going to adjust everything except for pressure. Now, my pressure hasn't really been changing on um, this unit or the caps that I've been decorating, so I won't need to adjust that today. This is gonna be simple. We've already got our artwork. This is something that you can order through stalls.com in services. This is called CAD Prints Permatwill. You can order these 100% ready to go. There's already adhesive on the back, so all you'll need to do is just simply lay it on top of your cap or the hat or bucket hat, whatever style of cap you are using with this, and then simply heat apply. That's it. No hooping, no trying to match up embroidery. You don't have to worry about stitch count or getting a digitized file. This is all you need. So I'm going to reposition my camera so you can get a better angle. We're gonna load the cap onto the hat press and then heat apply like that. All right, now with the logo that we will be using, as you can see, there are some really fun and bright colors in this logo. And with the settings, this will need to cook, cook or the dwell time would be 30 to 45 seconds. I am currently at 40 seconds. We are using a structured hat. So I just wanna make sure that we have enough dwell time to really make sure that that twill adheres properly. Now with this particular logo, these um, seams will not fray. So you don't have to worry about stitching this down or of course, worrying about something unraveling for you know, your customer as they have worn it throughout some time. So the first thing that we wanna do is grab our hat and we are just going to simply drape it over this bottom platen. Now that our cap is on and ready to go, we're actually gonna take the lever and pull it up. That's going to really lock and engage the cap. That way all we have to do is simply put our twill patch right on there. Now, as you can see, it's not um, going to stick or adhere. So you, you can use some thermal tape. I'm just gonna pull that guy out. And then I am just going to tape down each side. From here, we are going to use the eighth inch white pad that came with the press, and we are just going to drape it over, and now we are set up ready to heat apply. We're gonna pull our top lever down to engage the heating element, and our time will start ticking. Now, one thing that is great about this 360 IQ hat press is that once that timer reaches zero, it will beep and then this lever will automatically open for you. Once that is fully open, you'll want to drop the lever and then remove the cap as quick as possible. Now you'll want to make sure that this warms down just a little bit before you remove the tape and you'll be good to go. All right, our cap has cooled down, so I'm just going to remove that last little bit of thermal tape. And as you can see, we have a embroidery-like design simply by using a custom printed twill patch. This was so easy to do in a matter of a minute. And you are now able to just go put this up on your boutique shop, offer it to your customers, post it on social media, how quickly and how unique something like this was. 
Thanks for tuning in guys. I'm Kelly Walters and make sure you check out some of our other 360 IQ videos to show you what you can really achieve simply by having a 360 IQ cap press.